So in the last video, we learned uh, to uh, to upgrade or install softwares on different computers in um in our office or any environment that you are a part of the help desk. One was you physically walk over them, uh, walk over there, take control and install it for them, but that's not very efficient like you have to you will be walking all over the place the other one is that you're sitting from your desk you just remote desktop into their computer use the network drive uh, wherever this installation media is stored or you download it from the internet and install it for them but what if you have like 100 200 computers <clears throat> or more and 500 computers thousand ten thousand um, you want to use a software that keeps track of uh, not only um, what's installed but it has a package or library that has all the normally used software and you can simply push from them <clears throat> there's no free option as of uh, that I know of uh, there is one that is paid and a free um, the paid is $500 per admin you can use it to <clears throat> Basically, it has everything. It's called PDQ. Uh, I mean, I'll launch it over here. So, if you see this package uh, library, so <clears throat> you can see it has everything. Um, if you can go down, all the softwares are already there, and there are four updates available or something like that. Download history, like if you have downloaded it. Download works like it, it's here. You download it, for example, this one. You download, select it. Of course, it's not for, uh, the paid version, so the options are grayed out. <clears throat> but you get the idea. Like, that's how you do it. So you simply have to right click here. Some of them, they allow on the, like, from the free one. You all you have to do is download and or deploy it like uh, from here you select it and then you click on deploy and it just deployed to whatever the machine is <clears throat> uh, so but there is a work uh, the since it's a free version and they want you to try it out and see how great it is that you can simply um, install it on any computer uh, on your domain so it's a great uh, it's a great uh, uh, software so since uh, if you want to uh, work with the free one and since it's not uh, uh, allowing you to for example uh, it's hard for me to look at the screen and then look at back at the uh, actual uh, monitor screen Hello. for example you see the Google Chrome here uh, this one right here there's no way for me to install it from here I cannot download it I cannot deploy it it will not allow me but what if I download Google Chrome from the website and then deploy it <clears throat> since it's a free version it will not allow me for deploy it from here but I can download and <clears throat> use the same software and deploy it <clears throat> myself that's pretty neat uh, you see it says Google Chrome Enterprise for some reason Google um, like most of the software that you have to work with on the domain uh, you have to download the enterprise editions and not the regular one though i will i know regular ones they do work uh, you just have to find a way <coughs> so let's go <laughs> uh, for the sake of this video i knew that i had to make from from the phone i downloaded everything uh, beforehand so uh, I don't have to like type in with this and shaky uh, uh, handy cam work S basically for Google uh, you can see uh, that's the enterprise right there normally we don't see anything we just click and be done with it on our, when we're installing on our machine for the deployment you have to download the enterprise edition and you can get it from here I've already downloaded it so I'm not doing it uh, for the PDQ software that I'm using you can search it for PDQ and then right there PDQ.com you just have to go to their website 
and you have to click on download free and basically you have to just sign up provide your name and email address and all that and you can download it and install it <clears throat> for firefox it's a bit trickier for firefox i learned that uh, if you click on download now then you get a like it uh, now you get a general installer this general installer what it does is basically it goes to the server and grabs the latest copy for example some of us like we have a, a folder in our desktop or desktop computers that has all the software that we use just in case we have to reinstall it so <clears throat> the idea is that if you had downloaded it any year ago and that software was for example version 50 and there's many security and bug fixes <clears throat> patched into this new software which is now 70 so basically you are exposed to all those risks if you keep downloading it, downloading it from the old installer on your hard disk <clears throat> so uh, to curve that they made this installer basically you can keep it on your computer and forever every time from like two or a year from now it, it's not going to install the version 70 that is today's it's gonna install the one that will be from two years now <clears throat> so uh, it's pretty nice pretty neat but it does not work with PDQ deployment I did trial and error today I was bored and I so I did all that <clears throat> so you have to download this Firefox setup the actual setup uh, like whatever the version number at the moment is for that when you go here don't click here it's gonna get you the general installer so you, for that you have to click on inst advanced install option other platforms <coughs> here is this neat little options uh, don't click here you have to go over here if you click this one you're gonna get an exe file and if you click here you're gonna get the msi what's the difference between msi and exe for exe uh, in order for you to be able to deploy through the software uh, you have to find the silent install switches or parameters so basically what it does is that it does not prompt anything for the user because you are not physically on that computer you are doing it over the network so <clears throat> it just download and install everything uh, and so the end user does not have to click next or install and all that or have to click on any options with the MSI is that you don't have to find any of the parameters msi by default does install silently so it's pretty neat you need to know that i know it's a lot of uh, talking and no action yet <clears throat> but let's get to it i have felt that these are really <clears throat> since i had done already the all the trial and errors i felt that i should put it in the video so just in case if uh, anybody's having those issues and getting frustrated or can't <clears throat> make it work excuse me for my throat uh, can't make it work uh, they can actually uh, get by it so let's go and fire up the process for the process we're not there are two ways we can actually from the um, uh, here we can click on new package and go through it but there is much easier way rather than to we click on here and then we go about like uh, finding it where it is and you know going through the settings and all that and install and see where it is if we click on install we have to go and look for it see there's an easier way let's exit out of it no we don't want to save it so basically all my packages they will um, show up here <laughs> the easier way is you simply go to the installer itself for example we're gonna deploy uh, Firefox or Google Chrome whatever we, let's go with Google Chrome first here it gets a bundle you, you uninstall it so all you have to do is just click um, this one it says standalone enterprise you right click on it and you see the third option deploy with PDQ deploy I'm gonna cover that the, in the next video yeah I'm reaching my limit on my phone so let's see you in the uh, next video